Hi, and happy Thanksgiving. Whether you are watching this the day after or a couple weeks later, let's do a quick check-in on Cross 11. Our oldest fry are a little over four months old, and things are looking promising. The two males from last time have grown beautifully, and we've got a handful more potential Snow White males joining the crew. For new viewers, I'm Ivan. I'm breeding guppies to create a stable line of Snow White guppies. At this point, I have several lines that I've started from a single Snow White male. Now, I'm combining these lines, and Cross 11 is a pairing of Crosses 5 and 6. I started Cross 11 in June, and the females have already produced several broods of fry. The oldest are over 4 months old. Based on the analysis in the previous video, I'm confident that this cross will produce mostly Snow White guppies. In the last update, I separated two males that were starting to color up. Check them out now. They're looking fantastic with a vibrant iridescent white. This coloration is exactly what I'm aiming for. These males are mostly fully grown, and the magenta gene is clearly reducing their fin size. I prefer this shorter finish similar to how I prefer placat bettas over their veil tail counterparts. However, the dorsal fins on these male guppies seem smaller than expected, even accounting for the magenta gene. I'm curious if this trait was also inherited by their brothers that are almost fully colored. We'll have to wait and see. Now that we're closer to stabilizing the snow white color, I'll also be selecting for ideal finage. I hope to see this line continue to improve in both color and finage over time. Let's take a look at the female and fry tank. Their tank is getting a bit crowded after four months and multiple broods from three females. Arguably, they seem to be growing slower than the broods of crosses 13 and 14. I may need to split them up into separate tanks if I could find the space, but the fry seem healthy and are fed baby brine shrimp and dried foods twice daily. The older female juveniles are breeding age, but ideally, I would like to wait until I can confirm that Cross 11 is breeding true. This means all the males should be snow white with minimal variation. I'd need to wait one or two more months for more males to mature to be sure. Knowing the genotypes will help me plan future pairings. But the drawback is that I can't wait too long to pair these older female juveniles, or they may have trouble breeding. So, I'll likely pair them with Thorn this week. Thorn, from Cross 8, is the father of Cross 14 and has a desirable iridescent forehead trait. While not a Snow White, he carries many of the necessary genes. Pairing him with potentially non-true breeding Cross 11 females won't be a major setback, as his offspring won't be guaranteed to be 100% Snow White anyway. Additionally, I also need to get this cross started, because I need offspring from this cross for cross 14. Pairing guppies from these two crosses will help us understand the inheritance of the iridescent forehead trait. Setting up this pairing with Thorn will give me time to observe cross 11 males before deciding what to do with the younger females. I'm considering pairing my C9A male with one of these younger females, but only if she's a true breeding Snow White. This will ensure that any variation in offspring is solely due to the half-black characteristic of the C9A male. Secondly, perhaps the fuller dorsal fin of the male will be passed down as well. Fortunately, the younger females are a month younger, so I can wait to confirm if Cross 11 does breed true. Well, that about wraps up this quick update on Cross 11. Not too much has changed with the offspring, but that's okay. These things take time. I hope y'all had a good Thanksgiving. 
Stay tuned in a couple weeks when I'll upload the next video on Cross 13. These fry are also slowly developing and are on the verge of showing color. So if you want to follow along, go ahead and subscribe so that way you don't miss it. Here are some quick updates on my other crosses. Cross 14 is at a similar developmental stage as Cross 13, but I've been able to separate more males. Auxiliary Cross 1 dropped two batches of fries so far. Just look at that half moon tail. Can you imagine what this tail type would look like alongside magenta? If you would like a deeper dive into the genetics of Cross 11, check out this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.